Hi everyone, it's Brock from Imagine Designs. Today I'll be doing another painting tutorial on the Green Dragon bust. As with uh, the other busts that I've done before, there'll be a lot of dry brushing. I tend to use dry brushing when I paint large models. It just covers a large area quickly. Uh, but this time I want to add in some new techniques and that's the use of sponges. There's lots of different sponges out there. These ones here have little wooden handles on them and you can easily dab paint over the model. There's also two different types of uh, sea sponges, synthetic and natural. The difference between these is the size of the hole or the, the different hole patterns. Uh, synthetic ones tend to be larger holes where the real sea sponges tend to have a, a tighter grain pattern to them. Uh, but both of these will create a, uh, an interesting texture uh, to the paint, and that's what I'd like to show you today. So that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so uh, green is one of my favorite colors to paint just because of uh, the variety of shades. I mean, there's different shades of other colors, but I just it just seems to me that green lends itself to blending more of those shades together. So, as I've uh, done before, I have different size brushes, and I start out with, when I'm dry brushing, I start out with small brushes uh, when I wanna cover more of the model in whatever color I'm painting. And then, uh, as I add lighter shades, I go to larger brushes uh, just to pick up the highest spots. So, for the green dragon, I want to have not like an olive drab green, but more of a bright green for the scales. Obviously, I've base coated this uh, in a dark kind of forest emerald green, and then I lightly sprayed it with a slightly brighter green to start with. All right, so the first color that we'll be using is uh, New Shamrock, is it's what it's called. Very similar to a true green, I guess. And first I'll be focusing on these plates down here. And normally you would uh, only dry brush in one direction, but I want to cover most of these scales with this green, only leaving the deepest recesses, the, the dark green. So kind of got to go back and forth a little bit to do that. So now we're going to go on to like a key lime. Again, here I'm, uh, I'm kind of going in both directions, but when I go uh, the opposite direction, uh, it's very controlled and I, uh, I'm trying to just get it in there a little bit more than it's hitting when I go uh, up against the, the spike or the scales because in here doing this I'm not I'm not getting a lot of surface area so I'm coming in and, and controlling that and just bringing it in just a little bit more
Okay, so now before we go on to even lighter shades of green, I'm going to dip into some of my oldest paints ever. I got, <laughs> these are Citadel inks that I got uh, somewhere in the early 90s, maybe 92, 93. Uh, and I still have them, they're still good. So what I'm doing with the ink is I'm just going into the crease and it adds a, an extra layer of depth. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some brighter greens. Um, this one's called Lemonade, let's see. But this is where we're gonna start using the sponges. And then, this is apple tart, so that's the kind of the colors we're going for. We'll just use a little bit of yellow. So the idea here is to kind of use these three colors. Like that. Now I'm going to use like a medium sized sponge on a stick. There's also, there's larger ones and then there's smaller ones like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to dab that in there and get all three colors on there. Take a bigger brush, kind of just. Now for his back, I want to do darker than this. So uh, this is like a forest green, dark forest green.
Okay, so I painted his face and his back plates uh, with the dark uh, forest green. And now we will go into more like olive drab kind of colors. So it makes his chest uh, pop more than the rest of him. Kind of like an alligator's stomach is like a yellowish brown color. He'll have a, a brighter green yellowish chest where the rest of him is darker. So basically what I'm doing with this color is just getting this high ridge and some of the inside. I'm not trying to get too much coverage with this color. Okay, now we're gonna start using the synthetic sea sponge. Um, to start dabbing some other colors on his back plates. some hard to reach spots but using the same kind of dabbing you're not trying to cover it up you're, you're trying to just leave the little dabs here and there again you don't have to use a sea sponge you can just dab it with a brush like that it's kind of the same effect I just kind of like how the, the a brush will leave it kind of the same consistency wherever you dab where the sea sponge it leaves it light in some spots and uh, darker and heavier in, in other spots. Now I'm gonna add uh, a little more green back in there because this last green was more yellowy brown so now we're gonna add in this color And that'll help it tie into the two greens tie. In. There, that kind of gives it a, a muddled look. And we'll add yet another green. Now we're going to work on these side plates. They should almost be a transition between the more camouflage green to the brighter green. Uh, so in doing that, we're going to go probably a little darker than that. Let's see what do we got. We got a leaf green here, which is lighter than the green that it is, but darker than the first green we used here. It's actually a little bit more into the drab color too.
to the, the brownish olive green, which is right here. And just barely touch this. Okay, so the fins and his back fin, I'm gonna go into light greens. So let's see, what color is this? This is cactus. It's more of a, like a pastel green. white some scales here. dark olive green I'm going to start painting the spikes on his fins with this and I'll do his horns
Okay, so now I'm going to take some dark brown ink. And I'm going to wash over these horns. Okay, so using dark brown ink, I thinned it out with some with some water. Kind of making a wash with it. And I'm gonna wash over these ones. take a light yellow and dry brush the horns.
guys, I think I'm gonna call this one done. Okay, so for the shield, I'm just going to do a muddled effect over the whole thing, starting with dark green here. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this look like green marble. That's what we'll do. So you start out with that. So we need a little black. sparingly so you want to be kind of quick at this process actually I want that because um, you kind of want the colors to mix and then there's a final step at the end that's why I have this big brush here Last thing we need, kind of a bright, bright green here. Now oh, let's use one we've already used, like this one. Okay. Now, dragging in one direction. some pure white and you draw in some veins. I think I'm gonna leave that. And that's a quick and easy way to do a little bit of marble. All right, and then I think for the band around here, I'm just gonna do a medium gray.
I think the contrast and the, the green marble and the green of him looks pretty cool. Alright guys, that's it for now. We'll see you next time.